Hello, people of the internet. I'm Sark Dragon, and welcome back to Running Red. To Blood Runs Red. The Running Red Feed the Beast adventure map hardcore thing. All links can be found in the description for a better description than what I'm giving. Anyways, when I last left off, I had just killed the creeper so I could get some more glass so I could finish off the latest quest, which was Bone Marrow, so I had to create an Igneous Extruder. So for the Igneous Extruder, first I'm going to need a piston. I got all materials for that as well. So piston, two glass, and that looks like we have everything. So let us make Igneous Extruder. Uh, let's make sure. Yep, so organ system. Now it wants us to create 64 cobblestone and a bucket of water. But you might be wondering, but Solarak Dragon, how are you going to do that easily? 64 cobblestone means 64 strain. And 64 cobblestone takes 250 LP to make, so that's a lot of LP. Well, dear viewers, this changes all of that. The Igneous Extruder cr can create cobblestone, stone, or obsidian. It does not require a, require a power source. And all you need to do is, first, I right-click that, and as you can see, lava went in there. So now, if I right-click the Aqueous Accumulator, you'll see I have a ton of water built up. And I should shift right click here. Did I crash? No, I didn't crash. It's just lagging. Why is that letting me take that out? Uh, no, come on. Let me take you out. Uh, we'll just get our tank then. Uh, tank, 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 tank. So we need that and these real quick. It's not letting us shift right click or anything. I might have been doing it wrong, but I don't honestly remember how. Um, that, 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 there we go, so get water buckets, and now, if we right click here, it's activated, and now, it's slowly but surely creating cobblestone without a lava or water, without exhausting the lava or water, pretty much what it is, in case you're wondering, is, um, pretty much it's a cobble gen without the um, actual consuming of without the risks or the war or the block placement. It's all condensed into one convenient little block. Now let's empty out this tank. How do I empty up you again? I forget. Is it just breaking you with a normal pickaxe? Yes. Okay, so no more water in the tank. But now it's creating cobblestone for us, so we no longer have to convert string into cobblestone. Yay! I need to get that Five Nights at Freddy's 2, you beat a night soundtrack for the yays. That sounds a lot better than me just doing it by myself. But it's slowly but surely creating cobblestone for us. It can also create obsidian or smooth stone. But I believe, I know with obsidian it consumes both of them. I think with smooth stone it consumes the lava, I believe it was. Yeah, so it's not really worth it to do it. It's just best to create cobblestone on its own. In my opinion, and in the opinion of many others, uh, since we're, even though it's not going to matter, we're just going to put that lava bucket in there, so we don't have to carry around an extra bucket of lava. We'll do the same with this water. Good. So now we have endless water in the form of an aqueous accumulator. We have endless cobblestone in the form of an igneous extruder. So things are really starting to look up for me. Oh wait, now I remember why I had the water bucket. Duh. Uh, so... Dang it. Gotta get more water. Uh, come on, why won't it let me take out? Dang it. Uh, well, I'm not gonna bother getting it from there. I got, a, I got my own personal infant water source by the animals. So, might as well run there. Anyways, enough about Minecraft. How's everybody doing? I realize for those in America, and it might be other places too, but it's Black Friday at the time of this video is publishing for you guys. Apparently things can get pretty hectic out there, so I hope everybody stayed safe if they went out shopping, or if they had family or parents that went out shopping. I hope they all were fine and not injured or anything in the shopping, banana shopping spree that apparently is super dangerous at times, I believe. One of the first official Black Fridays, a person died from what I remember reading because they were trampled by the crowds. 
and then the crowds trampled the police officer or whoever it was that was trying to help said person. Yeah, that can't be very pleasant to be trampled. We have our cobblestone. So, everybody, I hope they stayed safe. Now we can claim our reward, too. Yay! So we get a bucket, 32 sand, yes! Eight apples, and a lava sigil. Lava sigil will mean that we won't have to bother crafting one on our own. Pretty much what it is, is, it is endless lava. It consumes 1,000 LP, I think, and it creates a lava source block. So we no longer have to worry about that. We'll have to make sure it's safe though we don't need it on us constantly i already bound it to me as you can see uh put the sand away bucket and apple well, we'll keep the apples even though we're not really using them. anyways so that's another quest down uh these are flashing even though they're completed because they're repeatable uh can they be done again i'm not gonna bother um burn in hell well how rude <clears throat> so <clears throat> One of the last memories you can remember involves going to a deep, dark place. You believe that the portal involved some black igneous stone. However, now that we can create lava, that should be easy. So, it sounds like we're going to the nether. And we're going to get a guest here as a reward. We're going to need to create 10 obsidian first, though. So, I guess it is really a good thing that we have endless cobblestone now. Uh, where was that? Okay. Endless lava, rather. I'm um, gonna take out buckets. Uh, we're only gonna need one bucket here, but we're gonna need a water bucket as well, so... Where's that portal? Tank. Tank, 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 tank. Where'd I put the tank? Uh, where'd I put it? Up oh, there it is. Sorry, I am very blind at different various points of time. It all depends, really. But, looks like we're gonna need... Not on top of the... That was weird, but not there. And you... So that, that, and that. Good. Once this is filled up, we'll take it over there and we can start working on it. We should actually upgrade this soon. Surely it will let us this time without consuming it. So we have our portable tank filled with water we'll need. <coughs> We could, yeah, let's do that, actually. Uh, we'll just pump it in there. Save us a thing. So, that, that, and that. Or, that should be in there, shouldn't it? Um, wait, we have to change it to output. So, we should move this, actually. Uh, so, yeah, I hope everybody's doing fine, as I've said it probably a ton of times already. Um, Mage, hope you were all safe at Black Friday sales if you went, or if your family went, I hope they're safe. Output, and lever, lever, lever. Lever. Nope, didn't want that there. Want it there. I personally did not join in the Black Friday sales things. Uh, okay, that was weird. Um, change it to Obsidian. Okay, so it's a little slower, as you can see. But, yeah, I didn't participate in Black Friday sales. I don't really see the point in going myself. When I have family, they can go for me. <laughs> yes, I did just imply that my family can do my shopping for me. Because they do often do it for me. And, you know what? I am getting tired of this. I'm making a pneumatic servo or two. So, we're going to need four U. And we're going to need another two U. So... Burn? No, oh, whatever. Just burn the log. But yeah, I don't do my Black Friday shopping myself. If I have anything that really needs buying, I just have my family get it for me. <laughs> they, they don't really. I don't really get anything that much. I usually do most of my buying myself on separate days. Because although Black Friday seems like a good deal, apparently it's not the best deal you can get. They often go even cheaper, like, days after Black Friday, or just wait till Cyber Monday and order everything online, because that's cheaper still. But, yeah, so I hope you're all, you all do okay on Black Friday, or today, or you did okay, even though it's not Black Friday for me yet. That's, like, almost a complete week away from the time of recording this. Anyways, I'm getting so caught up in Black Friday here. 
Yeah, I'm making... So, anyways, I'm making two pneumatic servos because I'm tired of the tank not properly outputting the water. And just remake them on here, just in case anybody was wondering. I still am not entirely sure how to cut episodes properly. I mean, I can sort of cut episodes, I guess. Uh, okay. Uh... Press and controls, information, set the filtering for fluid duct. Okay. Nope, oh, stop. Bad, bad, bad. And that. Whitelist. No redstone signal needed. Whitelist. That. Yes, that was my stomach, in case you were wondering. It still is not working. Why aren't you working? Dang it. Uh, these things are sometimes so much more frustrating than they're worth. Uh, didn't mean to do that. So, those pneumatic servos were pointless, apparently, and we'll just have to do this slowly, but safely. How much did that drain? Yep, that drained 2,000, so we're gonna need our blood orb, actually. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. There, that should be another two at least. Another two obsidian, so we should need to... Uh, you're useless to us right now. You really are. Dang it, stop doing that. Actually, no, you're not useless to us, because we need you to transfer... To gain water to transfer. Blah, 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 that's what you're all probably thinking now, because I keep repeating myself over and over and over. And dang it, and dang it, and dang it. Come on. I'm wondering if it's just this tank that's glitched, or if it's all portable tank things. We'll find out soon enough, because I'm probably going to upgrade this one in the time between episodes. And you are done. Good. Oh, that, if that had flown off... Oh, you can bet I would have been ticked off. Uh, put these away. <clears throat> Sorry there, my throat got a little bit strange. And one, two, three, and four. So only two more is needed, but how much life essence do we got? Only 3,000, so we can make three more buckets. Nice. Nice. And one two, three. So then only three more buckets remain. Nice. Anywho, uh, let's see. I've talked about Black Friday. What have I all talked about today? Black Friday, League of Legends, Dragon Age Inquisition. Yeah, I'm really running out of things to talk about, sadly enough. Sad, but it's true. Um, okay, that's strange. I must put in one too many. Uh, take that out. And... Um, one, and two. Okay, so that should be 3,000 in there. Yep. Now we just need to wait for our life tree gen so we can lead ourselves into the weak blood orb somewhere. Uh, what can I talk about? What can I talk about? Oh, I know. Even though I don't have it, apparently a Pokemon Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire have come out. Yes, I'm a Pokemon fan. I've liked them since I was young, and the first Pokemon car I ever had was a Paris, and the first episode I've ever I ever saw was back when it was Ash had when Charizard had just become a Charizard, and the whole fossil episode. I thought that was amazing, so I wanted to see it. And did I just stupidly do my do that? Or huh? Okay, that's weird. Uh, can we do that again? Yes, we can. Oh, it actually drained from my um actual health bar. I should have paid better attention there. Because that could have been dangerous. Let's do it one more time. There we go. Okay. So that's good. We'll have all of our obsidian shortly enough. Let's eat. But yeah. I loved Pokemon ever since I saw it when I was a kid. And I've played it ever since, pretty much. Gotten all the games except for the second black and white game. Because I never really saw the point. I mean, I didn't even get Emerald, really, because of that. Because it was just a sequel to the same region. Uh, 
manual detect, and now the domain of evil, so we need to go to the nether. We're going to the nether, we're going to the nether. I can't sing any more of that because it's copyright infringement. Uh, where should we put the portal? A portal, portal, portal. Yeah, might as well put it all the way over by the witchery stuff. Because I'm not going there that often. <clears throat> And really, that gas here is going to be a major help to us, because it will mean that we can create my favorite sigil, even if we won't be able to use it that much. The air sigil, which will allow us flight. Because oh! I love to fly with that sigil. I could fly anywhere I wanted on the server, because I had so much blood. Uh, wait, how am I going to light this? Duh. Uh, I need a flint and steel. Which is strange why it's called flint and steel when, in fact, you have to use iron to make it. But we're going to need some flint first. So, we'll look that up real quick. And we should actually get our altar to be going some more. An enrichment chamber with gunpowder, purification chamber, chemical chemistry, pulverizer. So, how do we do it then? I'm not making an enrichment chamber. All those require power sources, and I don't have any source of power right now. Uh, what are the other methods to lighting fires? I think lava can light fire, so maybe we'll just use our sigil. Who knows? But we gotta get more cobblestone getting going. So, bucket. Bucket that out. And let's actually switch you to cobblestone so it's not gonna screw us over. And lava sigil. Come on. Sorry, getting a little hungry here, that's why I'm a little slower. And we're gonna need some more lava. Just in case, put the lava sigil away, put the divination sigil away, put our blood orb away, because I'm not risking that. Eggs away. And we have a, sec a second sacrificial knife. We don't need this, though. We're gonna need some excess building material, though. So one, two, three, four, just because. Alright. So we're going to go and craft us another portal, because that's where we're going in case you didn't notice. <laughs> um, yeah, Pokemon, great game set. Apparently, Delta, the Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire has a Delta Emerald episode, so it was like a little bit of extra something afterwards, and although I don't want to spoil anything, there is going to be a bit of a spoiler. Apparently, you ride Rayquaza into space! Space! Sorry if that was too high pitched for you all. But yeah, so you get to go to space actually in a Pokemon game. That's never been done before. I mean, sure, you've heard of Deoxys, the Pokemon from space, but you've never actually gone to space. So that's pretty dang cool, in my opinion. <laughs> now we just gotta make sure we don't mess up the subsidian placement, otherwise, we will be screwed. Okay, very carefully turn this corner. Eat some melons. Full hunger. Okay, move that there. And open. Still no evil witches, which is good. And I messed up already. Dang it. Dang it, dang it, dang it. Dang it, dang it. Dang it. I need to make us another friggin' bit of obsidian. Because we messed up by putting that there. So, we get to go and get us some more obsidian. I'll... I can't cut this, dang it. I'm sorry, people, I messed up. I messed up. Please don't, like, crucify me in the comments. I messed up, I know. <laughs> I'm sorry. <clears throat> but yeah, that was not meant to happen. I said I hope I don't mess up, and then I end up messing up. But, yeah... Well, this episode was going to be a little short anyways, because I figure once I get to the nether, I'm going to cut the episode there. So you guys get to hear me talk a little longer, since there's not really much new. Uh, so not many mobs over there. I got the map. I'm not sure what map, pap, what map pack this one is called, but I have it set to entity per chunk, and there's apparently only one entity over there, I guess. I'm not really sure if that's true or not. And then there's me and that entity. Yep, only one entity over there. Strange. 
Anyway, so we need another obsidian. Lucky us. We'll just... We'll reset the sig igneous extruder once we get back from the nether. We don't need these anymore. Well, actually, no. You want to keep a stack of cobble when you go into the nether, just in case. Eat up. Eat up. We're going to eat, eat up. I'm not sure what that tune is from, but don't copyright infringe me. Sorry if I do copyright infringement stuff. I just like to hum and sing and stuff to myself in my head, and sometimes it comes out when I'm bored. So, yeah. Um, anyways, I'm just gonna tell you what to expect between this episode and the next. I'm probably going to first replace all wooden fences with stone walls. And I'm going to make stone walls around all of my pathways and around my house so that I don't have to worry about falling to my death anymore because that's a very bad thing to fall to your death in this map. Very bad indeed. Because you don't want to lose all of your stuff. Which is very likely since... Well, actually I wouldn't lose the heart canister so it wouldn't be that bad. Hopefully I can get some better heart canisters soon. I mean, sure, having 14 hearts is great. But I'd love it if I could get the full, full set. And, uh, Miss, I forget your name. I don't even remember your name, but which you got to move. I don't want you getting burned. Um, actually, we can make sure she doesn't get burned by doing this. Okay. And lava. How do I do this? Okay, okay, she's stuck in cobwebs, so that's good. Uh, yeah. I'm not exactly sure how I'm supposed to be doing this. So, although I said I was going to go to the nether, I think I'm going to cut it here. And so, if you and look up how to light another portal without fun and seal. So, if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like, a comment, or even subscribe to me to see more of my footage. And I hope you all have a fantastic weekend or Black Friday or whatever, and see you all next time.